With over $3 billion in liquidity locked up and an average daily trading volume of $700 million, Uniswap is one of the most important crypto projects in the entire crypto space. Hey guys, my name is Mesh, hope you're doing well. And in this video, I'm gonna be explaining the largest decentralized exchange, Uniswap. I'll also be talking about their coin Uni, which is up 60% this week. And by the end of this video, I'll be giving a price target of where we can expect to see the Unicoin in 2021. Before we get started, I do want to remind you that I am doing a $100 crypto giveaway and I'll be announcing the winner in the next video. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment on any video I posted this week. Now without any further ado, let's get into the video. Most exchanges that you're used to are centralized, meaning there is a single company or entity that is responsible for keeping your funds safe and managing transactions. However, Uniswap couldn't be further from that. Built on the Ethereum network, Uniswap is a decentralized, permissionless, and censorship resistant exchange. This means that it is controlled by no one person. Nobody can take it down and you don't have to trust anybody to keep your funds safe. And most importantly, anyone, no matter where they are or who they are, can use the exchange without needing to do any kind of verification, KYC, needing to submit any documents, or even to make an account. All they need is an Ethereum wallet and an internet connection. On November 2nd of 2018, Hayden Adams, the founder of the protocol, launched the first version of Uniswap, Uniswap V1. Hayden was a mechanical engineer with very little programming experience or history, but he learned how to write smart contracts while building the first version of Uniswap. When Uniswap version 1 first launched, it launched with $30,000 worth of liquidity spread across three tokens. And the initial version of Uniswap caught a lot of traction and became a very popular app in the crypto space. However, it did have a few shortcomings, mainly that you could only trade ERC-20 tokens with Ethereum and vice versa, meaning that you could not trade ERC-20 tokens for other ERC-20 tokens. For example, if I wanted to trade Tether for Chainlink, I would first have to trade my Tether for Ethereum and then use that Ethereum to buy Chainlink. And this would result in overall higher gas fees paid on the Ethereum network. In May of 2020, Uniswap version 2 launched, which allowed users to trade ERC-20 tokens for ERC-20 tokens directly in a single transaction. Additionally, Uniswap version 2 also introduced price oracles, flash swaps, and a few more features. Although version 2 of Uniswap is superior to version 1, version 1 is still active and being used and will remain active for as long as Ethereum exists because it's a decentralized application, so nobody can take it down, not even the original founders of Uniswap. Uniswap is now working on Uniswap version 3, which looks to address issues such as high fees, an invisible order book, and slippage and is rumored to launch sometime in 2021, which is pretty darn exciting. Uniswap has seen absolute tremendous growth in 2020 and 2021, along with all of DeFi as a whole. At the start of 2020, Uniswap had about $12 million locked up in its liquidity pool. Then just four months later in April, that number jumped to $30 million. And then in August of 2020, it hit $176 million just from $30 million a few months ago. And then DeFi went on a massive explosion and just one month later, that number had jumped over 10X to $2.1 billion. And at the time, Uniswap was doing almost as much daily trading volume as Coinbase and had even surpassed it for a few days. At the time of recording this video, there's about $3.16 billion locked up in Uniswap and growing. The way Uniswap works is that anybody can add an ERC-20 token to Uniswap if it doesn't already exist. This means that literally any project on the Ethereum network can be traded on Uniswap right away without the need for a third-party company to list that coin like Coinbase or Binance. For every ERC-20 token added to Uniswap, a smart contract on the Ethereum network is created. This smart contract can then accept that token and acts as a liquidity pool running on the Ethereum network. Anybody can then become a liquidity provider for the Uniswap protocol by simply depositing their funds into the Uniswap liquidity pools. 
liquidity providers are incentivized to lock up their funds on Uniswap because anytime anybody makes a transaction on the Uniswap protocol, a small fee is taken and then distributed to the liquidity providers that are helping to keep this protocol up and running. Also, I should mention that Uniswap itself does not take any fees. Instead, all the fees go to the liquidity providers to incentivize them to keep locking their funds and keep the protocol operating. When someone wants to use the protocol, all they have to do is sign up with a Web3 wallet like MetaMask and then choose the coins that they are trading and then deposit their funds and receive the funds that they are trading for. Then behind the scenes, what's happening is, say for example, I want to trade Tether for Chainlink, I would be depositing my Tether into the Tether liquidity pool and then I would be withdrawing from the Chainlink liquidity pool. And of course, this is all facilitated through smart contracts and the code that's running on the smart contracts so nobody can take more than they deposit. On September 16th of 2020, Uniswap announced the launch of their new coin, Uni. The way the Unicoin was distributed was one of the best distribution methods seen in crypto, period. Anyone that had used the Uniswap protocol before September 16th of 2020, even for a single transaction, were eligible to claim the 400 Uni tokens. And so if you think you've used the protocol before then and you haven't claimed your coins already, then you should probably go and do that. At the time, the 400 Uni coins were valued at about 1200 US dollars. But at the time of recording this video, the 400 Uni coins that were distributed to all the users of the protocol is valued at 7200 US dollars, which is pretty crazy for just using the Uniswap protocol. The Uni coins were distributed to over 50,000 Ethereum wallets, which made it one of the most widely distributed coins in the entire crypto space. The purpose of the Uni coin is primarily for governance. Anybody that owns the Uni coin can delegate their vote for proposed changes to the Uniswap protocol. As for the price of the coin, the Unicoin has been on a sharp uptrend over the past few months and is up literally 60% this week alone, which is quite bonkers. Decentralized finance is a rapidly growing industry and has new users joining the train almost every day. I truly believe that decentralized finance is in its incredibly early stages and will one day take up a huge portion of the traditional finance industry. And this makes Uniswap an excellent project to be invested in as it's one of the cornerstones in the entire decentralized finance industry. And it's currently leading the way in decentralized exchanges and I don't see that changing anytime soon. For the upcoming bull run in 2021, my price targets for Uni are between $50 and $160. I know that's a huge range, but that's the best I can do with the limited price data that we have. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more breakdowns of cryptocurrencies and want to learn more about this crazy place we call crypto, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. This channel tries to give you the most rational information without feeding you a bunch of unrational and unneeded hype. Also, if you enjoyed this video and got any kind of value from it, a like would go a long way in helping my channel out. Before I leave, I do want to mention that I do have a Discord server full of a bunch of like-minded people that are discussing everything to do with crypto. So if you do want to join that community, I'll leave a link to my server down in the description below. Alright, bye.